Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Glaze and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very good looking arsenal thumbnail. Now, this is gonna be my way of making thumbnails. I'll have it here on the screen just to showcase for you guys. This is specifically for arsenal. Uh, not any other game because I don't know how to make other game thumbnails But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys since uh, a lot of you asked and uh, With that being said, let's get right into video. Okay, so in order to make a proper thumbnail first You want to make a GFX so to do that you want to go to create and you want to go to whatever game you're making or something I don't know or just make a new experience and once you guys are in Roblox studio you want to input your character you want to go to plugins then you want to have the load character if you don't have this on your screen there is a model for it i'll leave it link in the description but basically for load character you want to just click here type your roblox username and then click spawn r15 now once you got your character over here you want to have the moon animator again this is a plugin i'll put this uh, link in the description so what you guys want to do you want to click this then you have to click file new animation then you, you can name it whatever and press confirm now then what you want to go is you want to go to item add item click on your character press c frame and press ok now what you want to do you can mess around with everything you know you can change it whatever i don't care basically you know just make the effects if you want to go from rotation to translation you can just press r and you know do whatever so i'm just going to time scale till i got myself a pretty good gfx so see you then okay so you know pretty good decent gfx i guess i'm just gonna save it for you guys so what you want to do is you want to click on your thing over here you want to right click and click export selection and you want to save it as obj okay so now what you guys want to do you got your gfx you want to open it on 3d viewer so what you guys want to do is um we're gonna mess around with the lighting a bit so what you guys want to do you want to go over here and press this and make sure you see the shadow over there make sure it's like behind of the character now what you guys want to do is you want to click the light one and then light two and then bring the intensity all the way up guys so it should look like this position it as much as you can not too close not too far this should look good so what you guys want to do you want to press file and then you want to press export image then you go to size and resolution make sure this is as set as png then set size and resolution to hc 1080 then turn on transparency and turn off render shadows and you just want to click export and save it somewhere in your files okay so now what you want to do guys is you want to go to a website called pixlr e and you want to create a new one you can name it anything i don't care now what you guys do is go and uh get a random background i don't know i'm using this background as i use in my uh, usual videos um, if you want to get this, I'll leave it everything linked in the description. Now what you want to do is bring your GFX. So once you got your GFX over here, we're going to mess again with the lightings a bit. So guys, what you want to do is you want to go to adjustment, then brightness and contrast. Set your brightness to around, I don't know, 30 or something. Set the contrast to about four. Uh, it doesn't matter really. And what you want to do is you, you know, just scale it. But before we scale it, to make this look a bit more nicer, you want to go to filter and then you want to add an outer glow. Now it should look like this, obviously. Um, to make mine, I just put my, put it as black. I turn the feather all the way up and make the opacity around 50. Then I turn the size a bit down and maybe the opacity a bit, you know, 60, 58 should do. And that's how it looks like, you know, you can now rescale it into any size. It should look like this. Pretty good, honestly. And if you guys want to make something like my, um, I don't know, Roblox um, live stream thumbnail or something like that, um, you guys can just um, take a quick picture of the game thumbnail and then insert it. Now, as always, you just want to go to brightness and contrast. Set this to 20, I don't know, four. And then obviously to make this more nicer, uh, you want to add an outer glow. As you know, I said black opacity uh, 60, I don't know, size, size, we can keep it a bit bigger, you know, just to make it look nice. Uh, then you guys, you know, you can just rescale it like this, you know, make it like this. And if you guys want, you can add um, a background like this, something I'll leave everything 
link in the description but um you know this is a pretty good um arsenal thumbnail i'm not gonna lie so um i'll leave every single thing i put here in the link in the description so you guys can make your own awesome thumbnail and if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and turn on those notifications and with that being said i hope you guys have a nice day peace out